Hey, hey, Tyler and Remy here from Rehab to Fab Designs, and we're about to start our next project. We're gonna be painting this antique lane cedar chest, but first we're gonna start with some prep work. We're gonna start by cleaning this piece with some Dixie Bell White Lightning. White Lightning is a cleaning and degreasing agent. You can use it to clean all your projects before starting to make sure that they don't have any dirt and debris on them that would prevent your paint from adhering properly. I like to mix mine in a spray bottle and then spray it over my entire piece and wipe it back with the towel to make sure it's nice and clean. Be sure you get in all the nooks and crannies. Next up, we're going to use our 3M blue painter's tape to tape the bottom of this piece because my husband's already started prepping it by stripping the wood legs so that we can leave them natural. Here you can see us teaching manipulation by trading tape for some good shuggies. For the actual makeover, we're going to be using Dixie Belle Chalk Mineral Paint and Caviar. It is a fabulous uh, matte sheen black, and I'm using a Dixie Belle mini brush to apply it, actually a mini angle. So because I want to do kind of a washed look in paint on this piece where some of the original wood is showing through, I'm putting a very light coat on it, and then I'm folding up a napkin and coming back to wipe back some of that paint, as you see here, so that we will let some of that natural wood underneath show through. Wipe back as little or as much as you want, and if you get too much, you can always come back over it and lightly brush over it with your paintbrush again. For these, I had a napkin that actually had some lines and grooves in it, so that's what you see here. Um, ideally, I would have had a smooth one, but this is what I had on hand. So because I don't want to see all the lines in it, I simply come back with my paintbrush and kind of lightly brush right back over it to cover up the areas where it's taken off too much. So again, just applying one coat lightly of my caviar paint here, and check out how great this angled mini applies paint. Immediately after getting the coat of paint on, I'm gonna come in with my paper towel again. I'm gonna fold it up and wipe back, and I'm gonna do this to remove a little bit of the paint in the areas um, where I want some of the wood to show through. If it's too heavy, we're simply going to paint right back over it so that we get the nice look that we're going for. You can already tell here in this quick little spin how nice and matte this caviar paint is drying and it's going to be a gorgeous finish when we're done. Repeat the same steps on all four sides. The back of this lane chest was all cedar and I originally thought about leaving it as is in um, the raw state. However, I decided that I would go ahead and paint it in the event that the person who buys it decides to use it later as something like a coffee table where it can be seen from all four sides. So because of that, I went ahead and painted the back as well. Here's a view of the back of the cedar chest where you can see that nice cedar wood and then a view of the latches which have seen better days. I decided to bring those back to life using Dixie Bell's Gilding Wax in bronze. After wiping the latches clean using Dixie Bell's White Lightning, I took a soft uh, paper towel and folded it around my finger and used that to dip into the gilding wax to pick up a small bout on the tip of my finger and then simply wiped it on these latches to bring them back to life. Now this piece had amazing um, antique feet on it, but you can see right here at some point, I think they had to replace a part of it because this area is a lighter color than the rest of this foot. So because I wanted to leave these in their natural st state after we had stripped them, I needed to make the color of that area blend in with the rest of the wood foot. To do that, I'm gonna use Dixie Bell's All Natural and Tobacco Road Voodoo Gel Stain. By mixing the two, I was able to create a light enough stain to match the original wood finish on the legs. 
Voodoo Gel Stain is a water-based stain from Dixie Belle that is super easy to use. I like to apply it using a sponge. I simply applied a small amount of the All Natural on my sponge and then wiped it onto the lighter area of this foot. As you can see, it doesn't really do a whole lot to it, so because of that, I came right over top of that and added the Tobacco Road to darken it slightly. This created a near perfect match for the original wood. You can use a paper towel to wipe off any excess around the area that you are not trying to darken. Everybody loves a good tape reveal that reveals nice clean lines, right? Once I was done with my paint finish, I gave it a nice light sand using 400 grit sandpaper just to make sure it was nice and smooth. After that, you're gonna wipe back any dust that's left over and now it's time to seal. Because I wanted to darken the depth of this paint color and make it nice and smooth and buttery soft, I decided to seal it with wax. I'm using Dixie Belle's black wax and a soft cloth just to rub it into place and apply it all over the piece except for the natural wood bottom. Wax will cure to a nice hard finish in about 30 days after application. I like to apply it to my piece, allow it to set for about 15 minutes, and then come back and buff it. Buffing it will give you a nice sheen. I like to use wax on artistic pieces and everyday use pieces because not only is it durable, but it also gives a really smooth, soft finish when buffed like no other top coat you can find on the market. And here's a look at the reason why people buy these cedar chests because of the cedar lining. It keeps all your belongings fresh and clean and smelling good and protected from the elements. As you can see for this piece, the wood is a little dry and needs a little refreshing. So we're gonna do that using Dixie Belle's Big Mama's Butter. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the wood before butter and after. It is made of all natural ingredients and nourishes the wood and protects it and also adds to it a great smell. I'm using the new scent, Fresh and Clean, but it also comes in flannel, Suzanne's Garden, Unscented, and Orange Grove. <laughs> Again, check out the difference here with butter and without. It's amazing the nourishment you get. I'm applying my butter here with a sponge, but you can also use a soft cloth. Just keep in mind that it will soak up a little bit more of your product. Here's the top done compared to the bottom, which has not been nourished yet. Look at the difference, it's crazy huge. So that's it for this makeover. Here's a look at it, all finished up and staged. You can see the wood peeking through underneath that nice black chalk paint, and it's nice and shiny from the wax top coat. As always, thank you for watching. Be sure and like and drop any comments down in the comment section below, and subscribe to our channel for more furniture makeovers. Happy painting, guys. Bye.